Hello guys, a lazy Sunday in the rain season. Uh, the solar system is working nicely at the office. Uh, I thought I would show you guys some uh, roof types, the main roof types that are in Thailand. Because I had this set up for a meeting with another company last week. So I thought, oh, maybe I'll just make a video in the group and talk about these main types because it is very important when you plan for solar, especially on a new build, or if you're going to make a carport or something, what are the options that you have for uh, different kinds of roofs. And these are the main types. Um, this is metal sheet. This is tile, uh, ceramic tile, and this is um, fiber cement. Um, in relation to price, tiles is the most expensive then metal sheet and the cheapest is the fi fiber cement in terms of maintenance lowest maintenance number two number three and that's the most important and uh, so i will start talking about maintenance um why is it like that well fiber cement can crack it cracks very easily actually and i'll show you this is just a sample that we got from the shop it fell down here and it cracked this thing came off and that can happen you know if you have a branch coming down on the roof stuff like that so fiber cement uh, you have to be really careful you have to check you have to maintain um, so that is the uh, least suitable for uh, solar systems but it's still possible but you just have to check it more often and uh, yeah take more responsibility for that it will be okay over time so but if you do that it can be okay but it's certainly not my favorite to install um tiles yes they are good to install on we do a lot of installations on them very little maintenance on this kind of uh, roof because it's obviously very solid and heavy um the only thing about this is that roofs are if you're going to use this kind of tile you need a certain slope flat you can't put this on uh, close to a flat roof now how much slope is depending on different you know specifications on different tiles but i think they start at 12 15 degrees but i don't know if i even would dare dare to do that myself to use the tiles like this on such a flat slope like that 12 to 15 the reason is because you just know that the installers will, if they do a mistake and not 100% after the installation, you're going to have a problem. So, personally, I would not use these kind of tiles unless you have 25 or 30 degrees. Uh, but, you know, you, it is possible if you do everything completely correct during installation. But uh, that, as you probably know, is not always easy in Thailand. Uh, metal sheet, that is probably the best solution for solar just on the overall cost uh, benefit ratio uh, the reason is because it's not too expensive and it can also last a long time especially the modern metal sheets the thicker ones and you can also have pre-installed with different kinds of insulation that you can see here this is a little bit on the thicker side but you can also get thin uh, you know very different materials different insulating materials um, and it's it's good and uh, but you have to be aware that there are huge differences inside the category metal sheet um, you have a thin metal sheet which is basically horrible and almost impossible to work with if you have that on the roof we cannot install solar on it because the roof will not hold uh, first of all it will break during installation second of all it will not hold up over time um the the cheapest stuff it doesn't have any proper coating either but you see stuff like this has coating so it's protected now that's also important during installation that the installers know what they're doing because if they scratch up this during installation you're gonna have more rust you know so there are complicate all of these things have to be installed properly and if they are not that's going to compromise them over time um, but with the metal sheet it's good to go for a thicker sheet so let's say for example 0 0.4 centimeter 
I would say is the is the least thick you should go for if you are planning to put solar on them. And also, just in general, you want something that lasts and has a proper coating. And then metal sheet can be okay, but you should um, take a look on, you know, obviously check them over time. And that the screws are also during installation with the, the O-rings, you know, um, the rubber washers. Uh, that's you must have that if they don't use that you're screwed basically but they will use it if they if people know you know if they are experienced installers but sometimes they uh, if they are if they are too tight or too loose stuff like that it has to be checked um, and also it can change over time and then they have to be changed the screws so there's there is maintenance uh, with the metal sheet too but I would still say that they are are the best um, if we take all factors into account. If we only think low maintenance and do not think about cost, we have to say that the tiles are the winner. Um, but it's much more expensive, and it's uh, you have to have additional insulation. You can't have it installed on the on the tiles. You can obviously foam them after with this kind of. PU foam, many people do that, and that's absolutely an option. We have actually done that, and it can benefit, even though I think that normal insulation that you install on the loft, like uh, on the loft floor instead of under the roof sheets or tiles, on the, on the roof floor is more beneficial, of course, because it's closer to what you want to insulate. So. That's something to consider. I have used foam in my own house on the on the tiles, and if I was to do it again, I would probably use um, these kind of insulation rolls, you know, and roll them on the floor instead of, or try to make a frame, you know. I don't have a floor actually, but try to make a frame for them so so they can be on the loft floor, so to speak. And insulate that way. I think that will probably, I don't know how the percentage, but I think that will increase the insulation factor by a lot. Even though I can't uh, quantify it, I think for sure that will be better than uh, doing it on the roof itself. Anyway, so that's some of the things. Um, also about the fiber cement, they do exist in many different specifications and brands and qualities. But I would say overall they, they are the lowest quality for sure and breaks the fastest. Um, but of course if you are going to install solar on the carport or something like that, it's not the end of the world if you have a crack. So if you are doing something like that, yeah, you might be able to get away with, with fiber cement. But uh, personally I would always go for the sheet and the thicker sheet, not the thin sheet. Um, just because I also think it's more appealing when it's installed properly i think it looks nicer and you can get any color and very shiny and, and, and looks nice now there are also many other metal sheet designs talking about the shape of the design that are available you can get them in almost any shape that looks like shingles looks like tiles and you can install them on a steeper roof too so they can actually look like tiles um, so that's you don't have to go for this look so that's important when you build something that you can actually uh, get the look that you want even though you use the metal shit okay though guys um, even though it's not directly solar technology it's certainly very important for the solar installation so that's why I think it's it's nice to have some videos about stuff like this take it easy guys